Here they are, the Stanford Cardinals look like a cast from a movie, and they get Vanderbilt this evening. Loser is out, winner gets NC State. 2-2, two -two. and this one, line shot, caught, and he threw it away! Patrick Nolan threw it into right field, and Park's gonna round, and that's a huge error here from Parker Nolan. And it's 1-0 Stanford. Vanderbilt is not a team that makes a lot of, of errors. You got an error to start the ball game, and now this one, which totally changes the inning. Potentially could have been a double play. Ball thrown away. Park comes around to score from second base, and the Cardinals on the board. See if Little can get out of this. Two on, two outs. Two and two. And to left field towards the line, going over. Diving and making the play is Javier Vaz. Bradfield. Comes over to congratulate him. Little points out to his left fielder. A huge play from Javier Vaz. Javier Vaz, who's just been starting for about two weeks, changes the ball game right there, lays out. Vandy still trails him by one. You're still going to have to hammer one to right to get it out. 3-1, he may have. This one is deep. Thomas going back. He did well off the back side of the bullpen. And Brock Jones, who when he hits him, hits him in bunches, has his 18th this year. 2-0 Cardinal. Yeah, that's coming through the wind right there. Keeping it low. Just right through it was loud. You talk about the leadership. You talk about the power right there. Fastball up in the zone, just throws the hat on it. 3-1 heater to that guy. He can make you pay, and he does right there. Covers that fastball, drives it out to right field, and adds another one to the Stanford lead. He gets really low, too, when he needs to. Adam Crampton, this one could be two. Instead, it's none. Looked like Carter Young had peaked at second base to see how quickly Drew Bowser was there. That is going to be error number three on Vanderbilt. And again, 52 strikeouts and only six walks. And that's high, ball four, he walks in a run. The, the uncharacteristic things that you're seeing from Vanderbilt is now covering everything. Yep. I mean, defensive miscues, mental mistakes, and Maldonado doesn't walk anybody. And he just walked one on four pitches with the bases loaded. Fourth inning, bases loaded, already up three nothing. Ahead one and two is Nick Maldonado to the three hitter, and he gets a slow roller. Maldonado's got to be quick. He fires. Did he tag him? Oh, we'll see. They may want to take a look at that. It looked like Keegan's glove came down on Jones. He's currently safe. It's 4 nothing. The speed of Jones enough to beat out a throw that was just a little bit high. Stanford adds one base is still juiced. Keegan gets one to hit. This ball's driven to left. Forget about it. Well, maybe the speech worked. That is a massive home run from Keegan. It's his 15th of the year, and just like that, Vanderbilt cuts the lead to two. It's 4-2. Shook the first one. 2-2, two -two, right field corner, going over Thomas. He won't get it. Brock Jones hurts him again. He'll go to second and pull up with a double. Another RBI, and Brock Jones, third hit of the night. It's 5-2 Stanford. Oh, and one right field, that's down. Bradfield's going to come in, and the pinch hitter, Colwick, delivers. It's 5-3 now in the six with one down. Parker Noland. And this one to short, and it's through. Crampton couldn't get it. Rounding third, Keegan. He is in there as the throw is cut off. Uh, RBI for Parker Noland in a one-run game. Andy, again, not trying to do a lot with it. Going the other way right here. Fastball attacking early. You get it, you barrel it just on a line through the infield. But again, what I love about this play is we see a lot. The trail runner always going to try to get the cutoff. Stay at second. And the catcher, C.J. Rodriguez. Two runs in the inning for Vanderbilt. On the ground, and no oh, one a play at first base, and there is back to cover. Bruiser to Beck, and that keeps the leadoff man off. What a play, Nick Bruiser. That's a fine play right there. Again, watch where Bruiser starts. Great positioning, goes to his right, smothers that baseball in a perfect throw over to Beck, who's covering there. 
That's a game saver right there. 6'7", 225-pound sophomore, one and one. That one is in the hole. Fielded, long throw, not in time, and it gets by the first baseman. Crampton short hopped Bruiser, and there are men at first and third. Not sure if Crampton could have just eaten that ball. Instead, he threw it across the diamond, and here's Vanderbilt with runners on the corners and two down. Beck throwing pitch 38. And that's into right field! Vanderbilt has tied it to third base. And wow, Enrique Bradfield, the biggest hit of his Vanderbilt career. They tie it up with two outs in the bottom of the ninth. for Brendan Beck and Stanford. And the Commodores get two in the bottom of the ninth to win.